Hello everybody, in this screencast I discuss with you how we can write even more complex rate equations for biochemical sequences. Let's assume we have a sequence which looks like this. So we have A is converted into B with a rate constant K1 and B then is converted into another compound uh, let's say with a rate constant k2 and this is a typical linear biochemical pathway and we want to analyze how we can write these rate equations for the different components so for a it is pretty simple we can write dA over dt equals minus because we have a reduction in a minus k1 times a to the power of m and as I said, usually m is 1, but it doesn't have to be. Now, for c, it's also fairly simple to write the rate equation. dc over dt equals, we produce c, so it is plus k2 times concentration of b to the power of, let's call it, n. Now, for b, the situation is a little bit more complex because we need to break it down into two reactions. On one hand, B is produced from this part here and it is consumed by this reaction. So we can say B on one hand is consumed, K2, but also it is produced, K1. So we can write, basically, dB over dt equals the production and the consumption. So if we write that down together, we can say dB over dt equals the production, and we said that is the A to B reaction here. So we have K1 times the concentration of A to the power of M and the consumption B into C, K2 plus minus K2 times the concentration of B to the power of N. And of course uh, this gives us minus, so we can write equals K1 times A to the power of M minus K2 times b to the power of n. And that is our rate of change for b. Now we might encounter the strange uh, situation that db over dt equals zero. So that means that the production of b is as fast as the consumption of b. So there would be no further change in uh, the concentration of B. And this particular case is called a steady state. The steady state for B. And of course we can calculate that very easily. We can say 0 equals K1 times A to the power of M minus K2 times B to the power of N. And in this case, uh, we can say the concentration, the steady state concentration, b to the power of n, equals, we just solve this equation here for bn, for b to the power of n, equals k1 times a to the power of m divided by k2. And that is our steady state concentration.